All right, Zero Cool here, back again with another video, and I'm here with my buddy, Purple Sticky. What's going on, man? Thanks for having me. All right, me. we're here to... Yeah, no problem, man. We're here to talk about our nice little match for the Famine Scourge, which was score versus score, since, um, you know, Scopely doesn't want to give us any fun content to go with, so we made our own. So let's have... We made our own, and boom, we went for scores, and for my score, I got... 1.5 million and we look at purple stickies and he was 1.2 the shame no no they're no 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 this one I, I do remember them yeah well they did they did retune it a little bit because it did feel a little bit harder just a little bit just a little bit but it it, it was it was actually quite that that la the note 5 and note 10 were hard <laughs> those were yeah. ridiculously hard yeah. It felt really bad. Um, in City, too, right? First two nodes. Nothing to mess with, man. Yeah, the the first two... Well, the first two nodes, I really didn't use normal City characters. I was basically... I tried them with Symbiotes, and Symbiotes kind of worked out, since a lot of people do have Sims beefed up for old raid reasons, and now they're just sitting there looking, you know, like nothing. And I figured, all right, let me throw them in as a sack team, and the Sims actually did pretty damn well. But yeah. Web Warriors were able to do it, but obviously New Warriors jumped in and did that too. But the first two were eh. the the mutant nodes. Uh, that was a bit trickier, and I think only because of the the second node with Emma, Omega Red, and Silver Samurai, and then you got freaking Prior over there just snapping off right away. I didn't. The scourges didn't help. Without the scourges, yeah. they were able to do it, but you just had to plan it out right. But the scourges, they were really bad. Now, so just curious, kind of, kind of taking it from the top. I know you said that you used, uh, you used symbiotes for the first two nodes. Did you? Mm -hmm. So I went in with a sack on node one. Actually, two sacks. One to eat the the Captain Sam ultimate, and then another to eat his taunt. Did you go the same route and then bring symbiotes in? I didn't I didn't bring a team. I did it by like one or two characters. So I would take yeah, yeah, yeah. one guy in there to sack for Sam and then I take in maybe two or three more, but that could actually take a hit. So that way Sam will go off again and then I could try to get like maybe Sharon, no, uh Teenage Warhead to go off, Sharon and hopefully get get them to the point to where they just get their their ults off and then boom, go in there with whoever and try to take them out. But I also gotcha. took in and I know people. I know people on chat hated me when I when they saw me do it. I took in Squirrel Girl and Miss Marvel in there to go ahead and push up their their energy. So when the match is over, they're leaving out of this node, fully ready to go for node five. Yeah. So that way, load, boom. Yeah, they load got them the, up. They got load them up. Let them go ahead, snap off right away. Because I, you can't do their ultimates right away. You got to wait. So yeah, I figured. Yeah, screw I mean, it, that, I'll do that it. helps compensate right for those scourges the ones that increase ability costs for the special and the ultimate if you can keep them healthy was, at the end of a node and they still yeah. have time to build the, the cooldowns that was the only reason i did it and they're like you can't take them in there you're gonna waste them for node five and i'm like there's a reason why i'm taking them in here i'm just gonna basic everything once i get down to the last if i can get if i get long shot and shatterstar out boom we're good just basic everything and let those go up because i i did throw in the scourges that did take up another energy or two for the special and the ultimate and it yeah. helped out a little bit. Yeah, just stalled it out. So for mm -hmm. for node two, so I did something similar for one, right? So I sacked it with a uh, single character two times. One to eat the, the sample, one to eat the special. Then I cleaned it up. I want to say it was uh, Cloak Dagger, uh, Shang-Chi, uh, and maybe uh, a couple of Web Warriors. And then node two, I brought in uh, whatever scraps I had left over. You know, I, I think it was Web Warriors. I might have been a Shang-Chi in there did some damage on that first wave and then cleaned it up with the symbiotes being real careful not to kill the hella and that's how i yeah, rolled it right like just feed off that greg for the for the turn meter i kept trying to go after greg and then they throw he, either hella would respawn greg over there by wong and then i get i i i don't know why but i'm just like all right i gotta make sure you know what screw it if i can't attack greg after so long of hitting greg and then Greg comes up by Hella, and then the splash damage comes from either Symbiote Spider-Man or 
um, scream, and I'm like, no, I do not want you to hit Hella. I need Hella still there, so when they drop again, boom, Greg. And I was like, no, I gotta. I think I backed out at least ten or twenty times because it was like, you're. Why do you keep hitting Hella? And it's then I was much, like, you know what? Too much damage I'm done. on her. Yeah, it was too much because then by once once Agatha and them drop, it's just like, oh crap, this is gonna suck. And then I don't got Greg to do it, and I'm like, oh god damn, now we're definitely not gonna do it. So I'd have to back out and then try it over again. And it took quite a while to get Greg to actually, I just said, you know what? For this, for a couple of turns, I just said, screw it. I'm just gonna attack whoever the hell's over there on that side and stay away from Hella. If it does, if it right. attacks Greg, if Scream attacked Greg, great. If he doesn't on, on, on the little, you know, the neck, the chain, who cares, whatever. As long as I don't hit Hella, I'm fine. Yeah. But it took a while. <laughs> Yeah. Once you get the RNG, though, I mean, yeah, you took more scourges than I did on this one. Uh, once you get the RNG, though, I mean, you can really just get so far ahead of that node. They don't stand a chance, right? I mean, you can have yeah, several it's... people locked down, special from Symbiote Spider-Man, extend the stun, and you just have complete control once you get the RNG yeah, in it, enough per it, meter. I was, do <laughs> I was at a party, <laughs> and I was just sitting there, just hitting basic and basic over and over on Greg. And I think some little kid was just like, what are you doing? And I was like, don't worry about it. And I'm just doing it over and over again. And it's like, I don't think you're doing anything. Trust me, you have no idea what I'm doing, but this is a smart play. Leave me alone. Make yourself useful. Go grab me a drink. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, yeah, just go do something else. Let, let me worry about what I'm doing. I know nobody's dying, but there's a reason why I'm doing this. But I mean, I just don't. Logically wise, I don't know why they would put Greg on a node like that if it's a scourge and they want us to have like some type of you know difficulty to beat it but then you throw in greg and you're like well i know who i'm taking in here yeah we're using symbiotes <laughs> yeah we're using symbiotes i don't care how it goes we're using symbiotes and yeah i don't i think with the upcoming rework or at least stat boost i don't uh, i'm a little iffy about the symbiotes with going against helen more <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 more I'd be skeptical, uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, on the bright side, when this comes back around again, you know, they don't rework the old content with the yeah, uh, they upgraded don't, character but... kit. So at least at least there's that. But yeah, war, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Symbiotes have really fallen yeah. off in a uh, uh, brand new Hella. Yeah, that might that might cause some issues. Yeah, that's it was like everyone in the Chinese issues. still use uh, symbiotes against uh, Hero Asgard, right? When they, um, not Hero yep. Asgard, but when they first got the uh the the boost to asgard people were still you know the new characters weren't out yet they were still trying to put the, the old team back on defense they're oh, like well i'll just symbiotes it and then and then mm. a thor pops off and it's game over right it's like well how'd your symbiotes that, work <laughs> that increase for the asgardians was beautiful well the hero yeah. asgardians let's not let's say it right here just like you said heroes guardians because thor now actually hits like a truck with his passive before it was Monster. like yeah but now it's like, oh, God, he hit everybody. Thank you. Yeah, absolute monster. Uh, so those. I was I was going to ask, uh, moving into three and four with uh, with the mutants and all. What was your now that we have had time to, like, build up uh, unlimited X-Men, right? This is the second go around of Scourge. Everyone's mm -hmm. been able to farm the characters, build them up a little bit. Uh, what was your what was your go to for for three and four? For three and four. The team I actually used was Beast, uh, Jubilee, Omega Red, Rogue, and Gambit. And it seemed to play off nicely. I would just literally have to target anyone that... Uh, I would target anybody I knew that was going to do some form of their ult. So, like, I had to stop Dagger right away because she's going she's gonna to snap off on turn two, but... If I could just keep her staying there and not doing anything, whatever. Even her special was a pain in the ass. So I'm like, nope, right. got to stop her. And then then you got Kate. Kate's there too. And I'm like, oh my God, she's going to blind like everybody. No. And then you got Hawkeye. And I'm like, no, you're going to blind everybody. And Cha-Cha's over there. And I'm going, well, all right, I got to stop him. But I did the same thing I did in the first two. I'd send in one or two characters in there to eat a couple and then send another stronger three or four so the chain doesn't happen and then boom i'd sent i'd taken my five but for that one i didn't have to do as many backouts as i did the others yep that one was a little bit easier but that's probably because of omega and rogue and gambit together 
Yeah, just so powerful. Did you use that same team on four as well? Yeah, but I I actually had to sack every damn mutant I had to finally mm. absorb whatever I needed because that whole setup dropping right away was like, damn, they're just I already know going in that Emma's gonna reduce the speed on everybody and these all these guys are going first. But my side, even with Emma, it still didn't matter. She was still taking it, so I was like, nope, I'm not even gonna like replace maybe Gambit with Emma. I was just like, screw it, I'm gonna send in Emma with the most powerful characters I got try and do as much as I can and if I can get Samurai and Pryor out so that way they don't do as much damage as possible and then I don't I just don't want to get stuck on that stupid taunt that taunt yeah. with his barrier is ridiculous <laughs> but oh which, yeah, yeah totally. which one did you, you have to have an answer for that uh so so no three I, I took in full unlimited uh but I swapped hmm. out Phantom X for Omega Red uh omega red i mean he's a beast right no surprise mm -hmm. and the the double ability block lets you lock down key characters exactly what you said dude you let you let dagger get to that second turn you're having some issues <laughs> you let kate bishop you know pop off with her ultimate you're having some issues mm. so my my best luck on that node was unlimited x-men with phantom x instead of uh excuse me with omega red instead of phantom x and then in node four i used a similar team uh, so three, I tried to stall out towards the end. Normal thing, right? Build whatever cooldowns I could back. The, the normal approach you would take. And mm. uh, four, I brought in Gambit, Rogue, Emma, uh, Beast, and Jubilee, actually. And the reason I liked that so much... I actually dropped off a of Mega Red, I believe. Uh, the reason I like that so much is with the assist when it's just beast and jubilee on the field you get that blind assist every time from jubes mm. every time beast does anything so like that in addition to you know the stun ultimate uh from from jubilee and you know everything that you got as far as ability blocks with gambit and all the great stuff rogue does that it just really you're able to shut down that first uh that first mm. wave of of node four which i found to be very helpful um, mm -hmm. but yeah, there's a lot of dangerous characters on that node, right? You have to account for that Emma Frost. You got to account for that Maddie Pryor. You can't let Silver Samurai pop off or he's going to nope. wipe somebody out. You get stuck behind his taunt. It's just bad times. But yeah, that's what I took in and it worked out. It worked out pretty well for me. Did they retune Deadpool? Because as soon as he would take a turn, he would try to nuke somebody really fast. And I'm just like, what the hell is up with it? Wait, I was expecting like something else. And then Deadpool would just be like, boom, he'd snap off. And I'm like wait what the hell just happened why did he whoa like wait hold on even with the scourges i'm going come on man he's not supposed to nuke somebody turn one jesus christ but yeah. he kind of scared me on it and i was like all right when they drop you know what i'm gonna try to just go after him as quickly as possible and hopefully i could get a blind on one of them but it's a it, it, the mutant nodes didn't take as many backouts as the the first two the first two took quite a few backouts the yeah. mutant nodes didn't yeah, yeah, mutant nodes. I, I definitely think uh, unlimited having unlimited ready to go. Really, I remember it being way more problematic on the first run. Uh, I think un unlimited just the the power they have there, the rogue gambit combo alone, mm. really, really goes a long way to 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 help with you know future runs of this event for sure. Now that fifth note. <laughs> oh, it's a pain. This, uh, that fifth note was Jesus Christ. I I. I think I sacked only three of the Inhumans, and that was whoever was the strongest, just to take whatever they could, so I can at least try to get to some. But I, I wanted to get Hella's alt off, and I wanted to I, do whatever you. We knew Zemo's alt was going to go, so go ahead, block whoever you want. I don't care. Yeah. I, it took. I had to back out a couple times because Black Bolt was the strongest, so I wanted him to to ability block Black Bolt. Go ahead. And that way, hey, whatever energy comes down, crystal passives go off, and boom, we'll be happy. But it took that one probably. Node five was probably way more backouts than any other node. Yeah, you got. You really have to lock down the uh, the sack on that. You need to like survive if you want to make it easier with a lot of scour scourges on. You really need to survive that opening barrage and get some of those key cooldowns down. I mean, that Taskmaster ultimate, dude. 
is brutal, right? Like, it, you know, just and blinds everywhere, blinds for everybody. Here you go. Yeah. You know, and then and then if you can if you can get rid of uh, the the special, the Winds of Tomb from uh, OG Strange, that's helpful too because they'll flip all the positive oh, he effects from everything. From, he would flip from Young everything. Avengers. Yeah, when I did, uh, so I went softer on Scourges um, this particular run. So I, I maxed out Rogue. I got her to seven just based off the milestones. I was ranked mm. 730 on the first run, but I went much harder on the Scourges to get that uh, first time around. And yeah, it just, it took me a long time to get like that perfect sack on it. And then not just that, but then going back in with the full Young Avengers team. And a lot of it came down to RNG for me about who got the blind from Kate Bishop, right? When she she triggers mm. her 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 blind yeah. on a random target. Uh that was super key. And so like when I do a run where she's, you know, popping off, you know, she's picking it's a lot of it too is where the Greg spawn. When you you try not to kill I the Greg. But, Greg. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it, Greg why are you targeting in a cluster. Greg? Stop targeting yeah, Greg. Greg spawns in a cluster of enemies and you can't help but oh. hit him. Uh you know, there's the RNG with who Kate uh Kate Bishop's gonna blind. And so, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's like, that's kind of a common theme, right? Th with these things where it's just kind of a war of attrition. It's like, how willing are you to grind this out until you get that perfect RNG where everyone that you need to blind is getting blind. And that's, you know, that's really yeah. what it comes down to. But, uh, you know, why is an amazing team though? I mean. Yeah, they, they, well, I didn't take in America Chavez cause I never built her. I really? really didn't build her up. I used miles and that. That turned me to rewind and that disrupt helped it a bit. And his basic, I was just like, I really, do I disrupt him or do I take off some positive effects? God damn. Right. Um, depends on what I'm, depends on which character I'm trying to go against or who, whose taunt I'm stuck on or something. But I just hated the fact that Squirgo kept freaking hitting Greg. Like, stop hitting Greg. Yeah. I know he's got some terms. So stop hitting Greg. You're screwing me up you here. Melee on someone. She just whips a squirrel at Greg. Yeah. Kills him. You're like, I'm Come like, on. why are you doing this? <laughs> Don't do this. Please stop doing this. You're messing me up here. But, ugh, that was nuts. But oh wait, that was funny. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Didn't even realize it. But yeah. Cute sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know what? The fifth note was all right. The the villain nodes. I mean, those were pretty. Those were pretty easy. They really were. Yeah. They were pretty easy to get through. They, I didn't have an issue going through them. It's just, I just took the, the, whoever was massively up there. Screw it. Here, take them, go. And luckily for me, I did still have Omega Red, and that just eased right through it. So, if someone has a problem with it, just hopefully you get Dormammu. That helps a little bit. But if you got that last scourge on, it kind of negates him. But he's still pretty goddamn powerful if you build him up yeah see that's that's the thing is like villains villains and cosmic right are like so far there's a real there's just so many good villain characters now with the mm. horsemen and everything and there's so many good cosmic characters right with uh you know everyone everyone we have um eternals are incredible uh dramamu incredible like there's just so many good characters that villain and cosmic if you're like sort of a you know a more end game uh player that's unlocked these characters are really not that problematic and honestly, I'd recommend even with people with Dormammu, one of the first scourges you should be taking is that gets rid of revive once thing. And the mm -hmm. reason is you probably don't need it. They're so strong. Mm -hmm. And Dormammu is still an amazing standalone character. Like I, I even in Cosmic, you know, we're talking about uh, uh, scourges, but even in Cosmic Crucible, like I'll drop in a Dormammu against a hero mutant team. Uh, you know, even though they clear those off, if my option is Scarlet Witch on Darkhold or dropping in Dormammu, even if they're clearing all the revives, I'm still bringing Dormammu. Dormammu is amazing. Yeah. Like, it, the, you know, the revives if, are just If he nice survives, yeah. If he survives yeah, oh, yeah. to his ultimate, if he survives yeah. to his ultimate, basically just turns the game around a bit because you're like, oh my God, I need his ultimate to go off. Boom, his ultimate goes off. Yes, we got a whole buttload of energy going now. Bam, they got their health back. Let's try and, let's try and yep. run through this. I'm still trying to figure out why people put him on defense right now, but that's a totally different story. So yeah, that's yeah, that, that's their issue, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, but still, yeah, man, villains and cosmic though. They're just like once you have some of these these newer characters, it's just cake. Uh, it mm -hmm. really is. Omega Red is amazing. Weapon X is is super good. Lady Deathstrike, you can flex in. You have Emma, you know, for for villains. Uh, you have Emma. You have almost the Marauders. entire you know Darkhold yeah. team. 
uh, you know, MLF, uh, you got Heartless Strange, you got um, Agatha, Agatha, they're incredible. And then, you know, you, you bring in Eternals into the, the Cosmos section with <laughs> Dramamu, or even if you don't have Dramamu, Dramamu definitely makes it easier. You just set them off. God, you know, yeah. here's, you know, when they have a character that summons, you bring in the the Eternals with, Eternals. Uh, you know, like a Boom. death pool or something. Yeah, yep. you get the double the ping from Icarus, off. half the teams. Yeah, and then death pools going around and just ripping everybody apart. It's just, it's it's kind of a non-factor, those, those sections, right? I'm interested well, to see well, if coming up, if they're going to make those tougher, right? Like, you know, death's coming at some point. We haven't seen that. I'm curious if they're going to make cosmic and villains really tough to, to challenge how powerful those characters are now. Well, the war, the, the war scourge, that node nine was a pain in the ass. Node nine, what was it? Cosmic mystic or something? Is it cosmic mystic that was on it? It so was a really war unique was... trait. War Wait, was, it was, was it or was skill. it skill? Was it, it was skill? skill, right? Yeah, skill. Yeah, okay, yeah, skill. Skill was brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, no skill in uh, War Scourge, man. That was that was the the toughest part of that. When you loaded that up with scourges, I mean, that was brutal, but it was fun, right? Like I, was, I enjoyed it. I, you know, I, it was frustrating I, at times. I enjoy, I enjoy a good difficulty, and yeah. the fact that. You know, some of the bigger content creators can can do all these scourges and it's great, but we don't have them as powerful as you guys do. So it's like we got to try and do these scourges and you can't do a video on every single scourge that you use because it's all over the place because you might use one scourge that I don't. And then, boom, that throws it all off. Yeah, I mean, on my biggest run, I would have had eight hours. Of, I probably would have had eight hours of recording. I'd have to sift through just to find the, <laughs> the shots that actually worked. Like, here's the thing. At ultimately, at the end of the day, for all of these scourges, if you're not, I'm not saying to be miserable, play the game and be happy. That's probably makes you a smarter person than I am. But if you're not miserable at some point playing the scourges, you could have gotten a better score, right? <laughs> That's what it boils down to. If you're not banging your head against a wall, hating life, you probably could have added more scourges on. But that's, there, that's what there, it is, man, right? Yeah, there is, at the end of the day, I, I do like, I do like the scourges. The scourges are good because it, it gives a different difficulty than the normal stuff that we're used to. And some of the stuff in the game right now is stagnant, but I do like scourges because it, I could do it at any time of the day. There's no currency that we need or we need to build up energy to get or buy or whatever. There's no time limit, time constraint, no two hours, and I got to keep a timer on my phone for it. Or there's no Avengers Tower type thing where you could do it once a day. You can do it over and over and over and over which if you want to play all day, you can. Yeah. I'm not, I got, I got life to do, but some people could. And I know there's some hate out there for it, but it's not for me. Yeah, like, I, I, do I, like, I enjoy it. I do it. like the scourges. I enjoy it. T to your point, you can, you can make this as miserable uh, and as try hard as you want, but, or you can set it to an easy difficulty and put on the scourges you know you can handle and just call it a day, right? What I, whatever I get, I get. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also we're also lucky that uh, there's you know amazing content creators out there that are putting together comprehensive scourge videos and walk you through the node and give you the best uh, recommendation as far as teams. Uh, you know, like our, well, our, our 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 boy Dorky Dad, right? Like the community knows he has the amazing videos. So even if you didn't want to sweat lord this you know like i do or whatever uh not for this particular run but generally speaking i sweat lord these uh you know you can wait until the last couple of days check out you know an awesome dorky dad video and even if your roster doesn't match him you can just dial it back you know goes through the recommended scourges and stuff so you can make this as challenging as you want to or as easy as you want to uh and i think i think there's value there yeah I I just got so, I, I think I got used to the war scourges for a second that when famine just popped out of nowhere, I was like, all right, cool. And then I was expecting one thing. And I was, oh crap, I got to remember these are different type of scourges that like, I know I'm just going in there checking off and just making sure I'm not putting on there start with immunity or 100% turn meter right away. I don't want to, I don't, nope, not doing that. I did try it for a couple of nodes and that was very freaking bad that yeah. they just came in and just, freaking just annihilated people and i'm like yeah i don't got the yeah maybe g17 does sound good for this <laughs> this run but yeah. not today yeah anything like that you know immunity speed up offense up like 
is it insurmountable with the the right roster? No, people are doing it. We know they're doing it. But man, does it does it make it rough rough time? That's those there's some scourges in there that are just tough to overcome. And not just that, like I think Scopely needs to go through and rebalance uh, you know, the points that you get for certain scourges. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can't remember whatever it was. It's like 20% health adds five scourge points or whatever. Like, I'm not gonna do yeah, that. that Why am I giving 10% health weird. for one scourge point? Like max health, that's like one of the last things you should be taking, as far as I'm concerned. Max health makes them, you know, many times over more difficult, right? And the, the points just aren't there to justify it in most of those instances. It's like, you know, don't do that to yourself. Mm -mm. Just take just take whatever free one you got at the bottom, which is usually the revive. There's you I yeah. think there's one more that was on there too that but that one was broken at the time. They more than likely fixed it. But that max health just makes it go a lot longer. Yeah. So many yeah. more turns you gotta go through and especially if they're blinding you or flipping crap all over the place or the one that extends it once you gain a positive effect but extends the negative effects on you yeah i i opted to try it for a little bit i got to node five and i said nah i'm just gonna pick new run this ain't working out right because <laughs> i don't yeah. got enough characters to sack for this thing yeah that can be problematic uh and also one that's sticking out to me off the top of mind um especially you know with the primary team being being young avengers the the trauma i mean like oh. you're relying so much on squirrel uh squirrely right like she's she's mm -hmm. the engine that drives that team and not being able to clear off those positive effects with the special is just like yeah no she's got it she's got a just boom clear it off start and, at least you're starting somewhat fresh and the only bad part is that it, if i could manage to hold off on her special and maybe get a heal block off and that way they at least get some type of health because when they still got that heal block i i swear to god it says in her kit it clears clears all the effects then heals but it heals and then clears all the effects and i'm like it's doing it backwards i swear to god it's doing it backwards i, I thought it said it's got to clear them off and then boom it, it it heals up but half the time for that node 10 that's where it did play a nice role because i did not like the fact that they weren't getting healers as much because yeah. that that one it wasn't as bad as five but 10 i had to sit there i I was I was so happy when ever Kate blinded um, Icarus because he can't clear it. Oh yeah, on his turn, yeah. I'm like, yes, go ahead, do your ultimate, see what happens. Boom, missed. Yes. Yeah. How did you, how did you approach ten? Did you go in with the? Uh, I did a double sack uh, uh, with you mm -hmm. know trash character whoever I had one to eat that Icarus ultimate that's just gonna rip your team apart and then another to take the special and then when he's basicing without Cersei, you know he's he's way less of a threat. Did you go yeah, the sack the, approach and then just bring him white? I did the, I did the sack approach. I did the sack approach yeah. and I brought, I brought a couple. I, I, I learned really quick. Just Icarus is gonna snap off, so screw it, whatever. I brought in one character. Go ahead, blow up one. Big deal, whatever. Yep. And then I'll bring it again. He does his special, but that was to, um, I think a, uh, I think one or two from A Force and, um, Yo Yo. And lucky for me. A couple of those times i i did it on one x speed so i could see if she dodges so if she dodges it great you survived cool you're gonna help somebody else go off if she didn't dodge it i'd be like screw that let me start this over i need you to dodge right. again so those dodges did help but it's it wasn't as many back outs as it was for for five but that i did want to make sure that they eat that the only bad part was my neck my i didn't know who to exactly target and i'm like ah i don't want yeah i don't want you to taunt i don't want you to crap you know what i don't care whatever happens i'm knocking out valkyrie i do not need her passive snapping off and giving these two over here and i tried to get them as low as possible and then try to knock them all out but every now and then that passive would snap off and i'm like damn this might not go right <laughs> yeah 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 10 could be challenging not nearly as bad as five i i agree mm -hmm. with you on that um but yeah if you can if you can blow those icarus uh ultimates uh you know with 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 the sack team and then you come in like you said like if you can drop waves and clusters that's super helpful as well and you also need to be mindful mm. of the black bolt that drops in i think it's the very last wave yeah uh because he'll he'll backfill in with uh some other inhumans characters and that can be problematic like if he somehow gets around to his ultimate 
Uh, you know, or he's special someone. Your evade ain't helping you if he's special someone. No, right? it's like he'll, not. And it doesn't matter if he's blinded. Flat out. <laughs> yeah, 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 it doesn't that, matter that, if that he's bad blinded. So, yep. But as soon as Crystal drops, I just focus away from whoever and knock out Crystal because I know she's gonna. Yeah. Her passive's gonna snap off once, and if Black Bolt drops, I'm screwed because even if he gets down a bit, boom, her passive is gonna go again, and then I'm gonna have to keep trying after him. Like, nope, she's gotta go, and she's gonna try to put slow on everybody anyway. She's got to go. And once or twice through the back outs, that didn't happen right. And boom, Black Bolt snapped off. And I was able to go ahead and just back out really fast before all five of them were done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that, I mean, the whole Scourge itself, I think I, I enjoyed it. I did. I enjoy, I enjoy the Scourge mode in its entirety. I agree. Because it's, it's something... It, it, you could challenge yourself or you could challenge somebody else and have some fun with it. Why not? Screw it. Scopely's not giving us too much with it. Let's go ahead and have some fun ourselves. Screw yeah. it. I like a good challenge. And if, at least we know if we challenge ourselves, it's just between me, you, and oh, everybody on Twitch and YouTube, I guess. But there's nothing we're losing by it, and we it, it's only between us. But it's a, it's a good... I like competition. I like healthy competition. And going up against somebody with it, perfectly fine. I, I, I enjoy it. Cause it. But like I said, there's no currency involved in this. There's no energy or nothing. We could do this whenever we want. And it's basically, if I don't get the score, I'm not relying on 23 other members of my alliance to do it. It's all on me. Right. It's my fault. Yeah. Can't blame nobody but me. Yeah. But I, I, I do enjoy the Scourges. I'm hoping the Death Scourge is difficult. And they did say there's going to be new Scourges, so I'm hoping they're going to be interesting. When they did data mine it a while ago, they said there's like 96 Scourges in there, but they didn't really do them all. Or they didn't data mine them all with there. But I know the dev said there's a whole bunch of Scourges that they're coming out. I'm just... I was hoping to see all the Scourges incorporated to each each actual scourge when they came out so that way we'd right. have a you know kind of like a running list of which ones they did but it seems to be whichever ones they started off with that's what that's the ones they're keeping yep yeah it'll be interesting to see see how that plays out with death uh i think um i'm, I'm optimistic about it because i will say i think they have all gotten progressively better uh i can tell you in order of what i like the least and what i like the most goes <laughs> mlf rogue red hawk right i think they have gotten progressively better so you know who knows with scopely but i think it's trending in the right direction i think uh the rng while it's it will always be a component of something like this it's the nature of the game right a lot of it's just built off of rng it has become yeah. less less and less of a factor to the extent that it can be uh as these have progressed so i am optimistic about what we're going to see with death uh and i'm looking forward to redeeming myself on the next go around of red hawk and yeah one, i love you man but i'm gonna i'm gonna it's... crush you i mean I'm... <laughs> hey i'm trying to do it with as much i'm not i'm I'm not spending so i just said screw it i'm not spending Damn. as much otherwise i'd have 2099 by now i really wanted to because i'm like oh god he looks great in arena and it's great to do it but then again i do like trying couple of my couple of my alliance mates got him on defense in war so i'm sitting there trying to practice and see how that goes but it's just it it don't really matter 2099 and 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 weaver are just ridiculously just damn and yeah. especially in crucible all three of them yeah it is gonna be interesting i don't i don't i don't know yeah. uh, I don't know. yeah i'm right right there with you man uh I don't spend either uh and it's uh it's interesting in our position because you know we kind of you know competed higher levels relatively speaking to the the uh, larger uh, msf audience not at the very highest because mm -hmm. we don't spend we can't compete with the guys that do it in a lot of ways uh but yeah it's always interesting being slightly outside of the meta with everything like i always feel like i'm like you know like a month or two removed from like oh really being able to keep up with like the guys that i'm fighting you know on the cusp of masters and cosmic crucible and stuff but that i actually i enjoy that i don't know how how you feel i like taking my roster that uh 
is dwarfed in a lot of ways by a lot of the guys I'm going up against and seeing what I can do with that and whether or not I can make it work. And that actually, I found more enjoyment in the game not spending myself than I than I have early on when I, I never spent a ton on the game, but in the first two years I would drop, you know, buy a character offer here or there that, uh, but I've actually found more, more enjoyment uh, by not spending. I don't know if you feel similar. I once, yeah, I only bought a couple of characters uh, literally while Gambit was coming out. I did, I mean, Surfer was kind of a giveaway. Freaking, they just gave that sucker away. And then I would buy, every now and then, I'd maybe one or two characters, but nothing to the extent of, like, you know, Mobile or Rem or anything like that. And then, yeah, I'd always feel, like, a month or two out from it. Like, damn, these guys have already done this, but now I'm finally getting them to, like, five or six star. All right, cool, now I'm seeing the damage. Oh, wait, they're already on the next person. I'm like, I ain't even got there yet, bro. Like, it's gonna be a minute like ah oh, god but i mean the i mean from being I, I remember when when the blitz releases were and i felt so bad when i'd only get like a hundred thousand points or two hundred thousand points in blitz and then you'd see all these ridiculous scores of like 30 million 40 million 60 million and i'm like how the hell are oh you guys are buying all these characters up front yeah i'm not spending money man i'm trying i mean no that's not happening it's not happening here yeah. so yeah it's just it, it it's if you're this game is resource management it's all based on the, the number one thing is based on speed because it's all turn it's a turn-based game it's speed and tangled web can be beat if you can figure out how to beat them with speed and right now <laughs> that's not happening too much it's not happening too much it's 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 doable if you have the characters but at the moment for me, it ain't happening. I don't know how it is. I, I think you're pretty high in arena. Am I correct? Uh, arena, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm always, I always end like top five in arena. Uh, if we're talking cosmic crucible, um, I am right on the cusp of masters. I think I'm like 20 points removed now from masters. Every time I like, I'm one went away from actually getting into masters, I just get beat down. Uh, but yeah, they're a problematic team, right? Like, they're just like, they immediately I'm put in my place. They're just like, dude, get out of here. You don't belong here. Yeah, they, uh, it doesn't matter who We have you a cover use, charge. It's just like, yeah, pretty much. Sure, yeah. but I, but I look I've, at it and I, go ahead. I was going to say, I found some success with, uh, against, um, Tangled Web with, um, Dormammu. Uh, uh, Dormwatch, mm. I found to be successful, successful as well as, uh, uh, dorm hold um actually the toughest uh cc defenses that i've gone up w uh, against with tangle web have been with really built dad bros uh mm. you know anytime i don't need dermamu elsewhere i would rather if i'm using dark hold i would rather drop Dur like i said earlier drop dermamu in there instead of scarlet witch even if the dad bros are clearing the revives on characters uh he's just a better character than scarlet witch is um but that's been i think that's one of the top CC defenses. I really do like uh, the Tangle Web team with some just built, built dad bros, man, with those Age of X buffs, and that could be problematic. Uh, I've I've fought in smaller dad bros that I could get around, but even then, I mean, you could just you could tell what they were capable of with those Age of X buffs. Uh, but yeah, Tangle Web, Tangle Web, no joke. Uh, and I think it, you know, in Cosmic Crucible, a three piece team that's as strong as like a lot of five piece teams in the game, right? It's like yeah that's, they're they're pretty they're, they're the real deal and i mean they're i mean just the the 100 percent accuracy decreases like yeah but i i think they need to just like with with the gamma radiation they need to move that icon over the characters they need to make an icon for 100 percent reducing accuracy so we see it we know it but i think i I think my mind is just so used to seeing what negative effects or positive effects each character has on the opposite team. I don't see it. And you're like, cool, I know it's going to happen. And then, damn, did she go out? Did they take three turns? Was that an actual turn or was that an assist? I don't know which one. Okay, this ain't working out. I think having that icon up there does help out a little bit. So at least you know for sure they got a decrease in accuracy. Obviously, yeah. it's not going to do anything to like Kate or, you know, the Asgardians, but... At least we, if you saw it, at least it'll register in your mind right away. And I'm not feeling the whole, let's have the, the nuclear sign underneath the character, 
like the character the character person up in the right hand side or the, the bottom left or something i'm not paying attention yeah. up there i'm paying attention to the characters that i'm battling right. and i think yeah. they missed the mark with giving some type of animation yeah i i agree with you uh yeah i mean even like for like the gamma radiation effect like some smoky something or another on the ground like you know r.i.p people with older cell phones i guess but like just something besides that little yes. icon i'm with you on just that something and uh <clears throat> i saw a recommendation one time i can't remember if it was on reddit or somebody's stream whatever but they suggested putting some sort of uh visual indicator just quality of life thing visual indicator next to abilities mm -hmm. when you're gonna miss uh, you know, either yep. when you're blinded or you're going up against a charged spider weaver, you know, just maybe even that eye, uh, eyeball icon over top of the individual abilities and it wouldn't appear over abilities that are unavoidable, something like that. But I agree with you. Uh, yeah. And it's that was a big learning curve, right? With spider weaver is like mm -hmm. before I do anything, does she have a charge? <laughs> and like, you know it, but like it would still help, you know, and like we know this is how this works, but it would still, I think, be a nice quality of life. Uh, yep. thing you know user experience to, to add some sort of visual indicator but nothing's more disappointing than the radiation effect i agree with you on that yeah what a bummer yeah. there's so many cool they, things they, they could have done there and it's they could just like, oh, you got this icon Maybe, now yeah animation department is well the art department seems to be working but you guys kind of just... <sighs> it's always like man they could be like 100 percent effective but here's that little one percent where you guys just missed out and could have made everybody just go you know what i want to go even more harder on hulk just to see the animation that happens with gamma radiation and yeah. all it is yeah, literally you know, is text you know battlefield effects aren't going anywhere either you know he's not no, gonna be the last gonna... character that had that so hopefully they figure out something you know i mean they did say it in, in his kit that he's clearing out whatever battlefield effects are on those characters and putting in gamma radiation so it's coming sometime we just don't know what oh it. yeah yep that'd be coming I don't know with who, but <sighs> scourges, scourges, scourges. So the next scourge, we'll, we could definitely try to go again in war. See how war scourges go. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I, I like the war scourges, but hey, another another one-two bout. Let's see what happens. See yeah, what happens. Are we bringing then... in a third for this? What's the, what's the plan? I heard I, I, rumor I think we that can... we might. I, I, I think we could, we could do this. At, yeah, we could do this. At, we could do this. We could do a triple threat. It could be a triple threat. Triple if you threat. want a three way, right. we could we could we could we could see about that. But I've a triple never threat turned does down a three way good. and I'm not going to start today. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. You know what? We're, we're both married now. If we get a three way. <laughs> damn right. Let's just got to jump on it. So just jump on it already. But yeah, hey, we, we could start this and we'll definitely we'll definitely put on for some Definitely put on for some fun content with the War Scourge, and then hopefully the Death Scourge comes out the following patch. <laughs> they kind of oh, yeah. hinted I mean, that they might not, but I don't know if I don't know if the Death Scourge should come out when they're supposed to go on break. I don't know if that's we'll a good idea. We'll see what happens. I hope not. Christmas is extended but, this year for Scope. Yes. Oh, Instead God, of being geez. off for one month, they're going to be off for two months. So, please, Speaking please, of death, guys, I don't want to treat... I got to know, are you building Wakanda right now? I'm in a holding pattern myself. That I'm holding. I already have I, BA built for, for raids. I have Bionic pushing. I'm going to build up. I have Shuri pretty close to 16. So there, it doesn't seem like there's... A, it seems like a good idea to do it. So I'm just going to keep pushing her. The next big one that I do have, which I'm glad I didn't spend as much as I thought I would on Killmonger, I got Black Panther up more. So I might as well just go ahead and bring those two up. Okoye, I think I'm just going to put like a level a day. She'll be right. the character I do a level a day. And if they get there, great. If they don't, whatever. I know I got Bionic and I'm double dipping with that. Well, more like triple dipping with Bionic. So they're the, they're the, be they're the best route to go to because I'm going to use them in raids. I'm going to use them in Crucible. So might as well go ahead and build them up as far as i can i don't think i'm gonna do g16 but then again i probably will <laughs> yeah i'm, I'm, I'm gonna be will. interested to see i really like before the wakanda announcement uh i was really like oh bionic avengers have to be the answer and we don't know right they can build the the raids however they want they can put whoever they want mm -hmm. on the nodes shut down different teams but I, like in my mind i was like Bi bionic avengers are amazing like they're gonna do really well you know they lose some of the raid buffs and, and all that but still excellent team uh but then the wakanda announcement came and i was like oh what is going on here and i actually don't hate it because i've i've 
held off up to this point, even though Wakanda are really, they're excellent in CC. They're awesome. I just couldn't justify the investment, as much as I love Cosmic Crucible with my current resources, bringing them up to like a really serious level with just, really just using them in Cosmic Crucible, as good as they are. Now, with the announcement, not that war is that important, uh, but now hearing that not only are they going to be amazing in Cosmic Crucible, Crucible, but the new characters and, you know, the hinted reworks or the leaked reworks to the kits, they're also going to be a force to be reckoned with in war, uh, which war ROI is questionable, but it's still something. It's a bonus. <laughs> and then on top of that being uh, one of the two teams used for Death Scourge, like I always wanted to build Wakanda. Maybe now's the time to do it. Uh, but I am I am holding. I, I think I'm going to do what you're doing with the Koye, just a little investment here or there on some key characters. I already have a uh, G16 Shuri. I brought her into Legendary when I went through it for Dormammu. Mm. Um, but I'm interested to see what the optimal team is. And like all of these Scourges, I go into hoarding mode as m much as I can without seriously hampering my roster in the meantime. But I go into hoarding mode and then make game time decisions after uh, the crazy mm. big boy spenders go in and are just like, you know, yeah, this is the team you probably want. If you're only building one team, do this team. So I'm in yeah, horde mode. I'm, I'm gonna make a game time decision. Yeah, I'm. I, I think. Well, I I'll go into horde mode for gold and some mats and stuff. So as soon as I get death, I can build them up. Unlocking them is one thing, but building them up is a totally different beast. And at least now they tell us we we got some time frame for it. So then once they go, hey, it's coming out in this or whatever time they're telling us that it, he's gonna be coming out give us like a week or a few days or something i'm just hoarding everything and like i'm not spending nothing which means if you're trying to spend trying to play that damn wheel it's not happening i need to save up i want to build up death just for a little bit king pink and wait i want to build up death as soon as i grab them so that'll be the that'll be the concession so it'll probably that that channel point won't be there there's a reason why i'm doing it and i did the same thing Sorry, when king i did it with red hulk and i was happy I was happy with it because I was like, cool, I got Red Hulk at least to G14, got him to G15 pretty quick, and I'm like, cool, he's almost done. But that, that, but I mean, it takes what, 12 million to damn near max somebody out or get close to it? I got to save up for a little bit and to make sure I can at least have him playable. And yep. we have no idea what his kit is, but if it's any indication from whatever the other three are looking like, I don't know what the hell this guy is going to do, but it sounds like he's going to break the game. So, Oh, I'm sure he's going to be crazy. Yeah. Have mm -hmm. you put anything, uh, based off the rumors, have you put anything into Magneto or Psylocke? I have I a favorite, had, but I haven't touched them. Yeah. I already had Magneto at G15. I okay. did it a while ago, and I already had him. Kit-wise, he's great. He just doesn't have the stats to deal with the power creep that's happening yeah. here. He can't do it. He can't and it's just like cool i could get the blind great maybe he doesn't have a lot of he doesn't have as much focus as he could but hopefully he gets a decent stat boost psylocke she's been homeless and her kit set and my my power on her shores that she was homeless so she got nothing she got no love for nothing and i only got her favorited and i'm trying to get her up but it's just like damn you really got no love on my roster from me for a while Yep. Yeah, so mine are both I'm, sitting at 65, gear tier of 12, I'm pretty sure. I, that is yeah. going to be, so when they mm. those reworks come and the official announcement comes, they're on the team. You know, if that's the way it plays out, I'm going to be, yeah, they're, yeah. they're due for some serious, they're going to be soaking up a lot of the resources, so I'm going to need that stockpile I'm sitting on. Yep, but, well, hopefully the next good match will come along. We're going to, I don't know exactly when the next Scourge is going to hit, but when it comes up, we're definitely going to see who wins. It'd be a nice one on one, probably with another one. So there'll be a nice three way that goes on. So stay tuned. But um, Yeah, stay tuned. But I got purple sticky here. I'll throw all his links down in the description below. So you check him out. Make sure you check out his scourge videos. He's, you know, one of those other guys in dorky that actually does some cool scourge videos. So go ahead, check him out. Make sure you click on those links and uh, give him a like, give him a sub. Go find him out on Twitch, too. He He's always doing something on Twitch. He's always doing something on Twitch. <laughs> always doing something, man. I appreciate you having but, me, dude. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. It, dude, it's always amazing. And when we get this three-way going, it's going to be even better.
Be even better. I'm gonna remember so. for the rest of my life, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, not the not the three way I was expecting, but hey, you know what? If it happens, it happens. Take what I can get, right? Yeah, you get what you can get now, but until the next one, this is y'all. He needs a new cheeseburger. Oh. The old one got Mine? cold. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, he said he said that don't yell at me for the cheeseburger that it got cold. <laughs> I'll eat the cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna eat the cheeseburger. I'll eat the cheeseburger. <laughs> I need a new one. This one's cold. <laughs>